So in the last video, we talked about the common source amplifier and we talked about how we got um, the common source amplifiers linear approximation, uh, which is just a current source, a voltage controlled current source. And we said that the volt, the proportionality constant um, was just Kn times the DC value of the overdrive voltage, where Kn is uh, equal to mu n C ox W over L. So that was, uh, that was last time. Now, I'm going to introduce a notation that's just standard notation. Uh, it makes our lives a little easier. And that's that this quantity, Kn times the overdrive voltage, is going to be defined as GM. It's, GM is called the transconductance. And it's so named because you are inputting a voltage and outputting a current. And that's got units of conductance. So. GM times VN is the value of the current source. Okay, now how do we how do we analyze this? Well, there's a few ways to do it. The simplest way is just using circuit analysis, uh, but we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going to use uh, linear systems analysis for this. So if we treat the input like it, we're going into some sort of linear system. Uh, we can say that, oh, well, we've got Vn, uh, and then Vn gets multiplied by this constant Gm, and this produces a current. This is the current ID. Uh, now, the current gets multiplied by the, if, if we're interested in the output voltage, that is, the current gets multiplied by the resistance, Rd. And D stands for drain, if I didn't make that clear previously. And here, we get out our output voltage. And that's, that's literally just it. Um, we use just our simple linear system here. Now, uh, we should be careful here about the signs uh, because notice that the output voltage, uh, since it's a voltage drop across RD, this is actually minus ID and this is minus V out. So if we just analyze the whole linear system together, that's just minus V out equals GM times RD times VN. So that's that's fairly straightforward. We can rewrite this uh, if we want the transfer function V out over Vn. It's just minus GM RD. Now you might ask why I've neglected to mention uh, VDD here, and that's because we're only interested in changes in quantities, and VDD here uh, is is still uh, it doesn't change. So as Vn is only a small signal quantity as it's referred to. We're only interested in the change. Similarly, we're only interested in the change of all voltages in the circuit. So rather than this being VDD, um, it's actually ground. So this is, you'll, you'll see this a lot in what's called small signal analysis. Um, and that's just because since VDD isn't changing, um, it's it becomes zero volts because VDD minus VDD is just zero or delta VD, which is the small signal quantity that would be interested in is zero. Just like in the last video, we're only interested in delta ID and delta overdrive voltage. Okay, um, so that's the, that's just simple way of analyzing the common source amplifier, but it becomes much more powerful when we want to change the circuit. So let's say we've got, let's say we've got the same circuit as above. So we've got VN, we've got RD, we've got VDD, but we add a resistor down here. 
it's going to be called RS. Now, RS is commonly introduced for several reasons. Um, typically, they have to do with biasing the circuit, linearizing the circuit. Uh, there's a bunch of reasons that you want to introduce RS that you might not know at this point. But um, it becomes much more difficult just to do the raw circuit analysis. But if we just use our diagram from above, then we're still we're still inputting uh, a voltage into the gate of the transistor. And this is going to generate, forget about RS for now, uh, this is going to cause the transistor to generate a current. Here's minus ID. Uh, this gets multiplied again by the resistor to have, to give our final output voltage minus V out, except we've got RS here. And RS, um, it changes things a little bit. So recall that it's not necessarily the input voltage to the transistor that determines the current. It's actually VGS. So if we were to write rewrite V out over V in for any condition, uh, so not just a grounded source, it's always uh, GM times VGS. That's the general uh, general form for it. But we see that any change in ID leads to a subtraction of VGS. So by increasing ID, we are decreasing VGS by the same amount, and the proportionality constant is RS. So that is nothing but negative feedback. And this is our, this is, you may have seen this in control systems. If you haven't, um, then this video will probably be less interesting to you. But we've created a control system out of a common source amplifier, and we can just very quickly write the transfer function of this control system v out over v in is just equal to the forward path gain gm divided by the one plus or one minus the loop gain one plus gm rs times rd because we've got uh, we're interested in the final quantity and that indeed is the same answer you would get from circuit theory but rather than doing the rather, it can be rather tedious, rather tedious circuit analysis, we just create a linear system out of our, out of our transistor and we can almost trivially write down the answer. So I thought that was, uh, that was just interesting when I, when I first found that out and I wanted to, to share it in a video.